JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for August the 26th. I am Harla Bospissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. We'll leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we'll jump into our analysis. Okay, then the US dollar traded lower against the majority of the other G10 currencies on Tuesday and during the Asian morning Wednesday. It gained only against uh, JPY while it was found virtu virtually unchanged versus the Euro and NOC. The greenback lost the most ground against the Canadian dollar, the Kiwi and the Swiss franc in that order. Now the weakening of the dollar and the yen combined with the relative strength of the commodity linked currencies Luni, Kiwi and Aussie suggests that markets continue trading in a risk on uh, fashion yesterday. That said, the strengthening of the Swiss franc points otherwise. Thus, once again, we will turn our gaze to the equity world in order to get a clearer picture with regards to the broader investor morale. Here, most major EU indices closed their Tuesday, their Tuesday session virtually unchanged, with the exceptions being Italy's FTSE MIB and the UK's FTSE 100, which uh, fell 0.41 and 1.11% respectively. This, things improved uh, during the US session, although the Dow Jones slid 0.21%, the S&P 500 and Nasdaq gained uh, 036 and 0.76%. In Asia today, appetite softened again, softened again with uh, China Shanghai Composite tumbling 1.32%. Japan's Nikkei 225, Hong Kong's Hang Seng and South Korea's KOSPI are currently virtually unchanged. With no major headlines or a clear catalyst to drive the markets on Tuesday and with no major releases scheduled on Wednesday's agenda, it seems that investors may have taken, may have taken a more cautious stance ahead of Fed Chair Powell's keynote speech at the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium tomorrow. Last week, the minutes of the latest FOMC gathering revealed that several officials suggested that additional accommodation could be required and added that fiscal support would also be necessary. However, they saw only modest benefits from, from adopting a yield curve control strategy and thus this was not warranted uh, for now. With no clear picture as to what form any potential additional easing uh, may take, Investors may lock their gaze on Powell's speech for more clarity on that front. They may also be looking for clues on the timing of any additional action, especially if the White House and Congress uh, Democrats stay deadlocked in agreeing over a new coronavirus aid package. Now, if the Fed chief suggests that further stimulus is on the cards, perhaps as early as next month, equities are likely to extend their uptrends while the dollar is likely to continue tumbling. The opposite may be true if Powell appears less dovish than anticipated, something that could scale back expectations over fresh accommodative measures before the, end of this, before the end of this year. Market chatter also suggests that Powell may address a future approach to the inflation target, allowing consumer prices to move higher and thereby delay any potential increase in interest rates. Something like that could add further pressure on the dollar, while it could prove positive for equities, as it would mean extra, loot, uh, mo extra loose uh, monetary policy for longer. Now, as we noted several times in the past, among currency pairs, one of the major gauges of investor morale may be Aussie yen. As a risk-linked currency, the Aussie tends to get benefited when the financial community trades in a risk on fashion, with investors diverting flows from safe havens like uh, the yen. The opposite reaction may be true in case of deteriorating morale. With oil prices edging north yesterday due to US uh, producers uh, shutting most offshore output in the Gulf of Mexico ahead of uh, Hurricane Laura, 
the Canadian dollar may also be among the beneficiaries in case risk on trading is uh, reignited. Therefore, CAD yen may be another pair to move decently higher. Having said that, we would uh, not uh, put too much faith on uh, Kiwi yen due to the RBNZ uh, strengthening its language with regards to the prospect of, of adopting negative interest rates. As for today's events, as we already noted, the calendar appears relatively light today. The only economic release worth mentioning is the US durable goods orders for July. Both the headline and core rates are expected to have declined to 4.3% month over month and 2.1% month over month from 7.6 and 3.6% respectively. With regards to the energy market, the Energy Information Administration weekly report on crude oil inventories is coming out and the forecast points to a 3.694 million uh, barrel slide after 1.632 uh, million uh, declined the week before. That said, bearing in mind that yesterday the American Petroleum Institute report revealed a 4.5 million barrels fall, we would consider the risks surrounding the Energy Information Administration forecast as tilted to the downside, which could add uh, further fuel to yesterday's rebound in oil prices. As for the speakers, we have three on today's agenda. ECB Executive uh, Board Member uh, Isabel Schnabel, Bank of Canada Senior Deputy Governor Caroline Wilkins and Bank of England Chief Economist Andy Haltain. So that's it from me. Thank you very much uh, for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.